Welcome and hello. This is Caffeine Zombies with some bite-sized news. Today is July 21st, 2024. We're just doing some follow-up on previous stories this week and the previous one, starting with Russia versus Ivan Gershkovich. He, he makes the history books as the first American journalist convicted of espionage since the Cold War in Russia. Interestingly, no evidence that was provided to the U.S. government on this case, and the 32-year-old certainly got a speedy trial, but not necessarily a fair one that wasn't open to public viewing, not even by internal U.S. government people. He does have 15 days, seems like a lot, to enter an appeal, and of course there's the likely already talks of some prisoner swap or other deal that Putin is trying to use this case to leverage. Hopefully, Ivan comes home soon. More is coming out about Thomas Matthew Crooks. He was researching political candidates across the board, which included Donald Trump, as well as Joe Biden, and others. He also conducted research on major depression disorder, and we also know that he visited the rally location in Butler at least once before the rally took place for around 70 minutes from cell phone location data. On the day in question, a picture of not enough security or surveillance seems to be bubbling up, and on Monday, the director of the Secret Service is scheduled to answer questions for the House Oversight Committee to give more insight into this. And in a quick follow-up on the continuing saga of the Democratic Party nominee, Mike Johnson is covering Republican bases as they start to fear the genuine real possibility of facing someone more confident and capable on stage than Joe Biden. Right now, Republicans are banking on their confident, energetic nominee Donald Trump continuing to face up against an effective policymaker but ineffective public figure, which is what the Republican base and many questioning uh, voters care about right now. If Democrats swap, of both the confident, energetic candidate as well as the better policies, and that could spell doom for the Republicans. So, Republicans are already gearing up for some lawfare of their own to fight against any swapping of the candidates. Till next time, stay frosting.